All right, Warchant.com here with new defensive ends coach and special teams coach. We're just called Coach JP, and he can tell us the correct pronunciation of his last name. The correct pronunciation is Papuchas, but I go by JP. It makes things a whole lot easier sometimes. I appreciate that. Now, let's talk about this transition coming to Florida State, coaching the two positions. It's been a whirlwind, I'm sure, a couple of weeks for you, but what, what kind of is the basic plan here working with Coach, Coach Norvell at both special teams and defensive ends? Well, you know, when, when uh, I got the call from Coach Norvell, I was super excited. Obviously, I understand the tradition that Florida State has, and, uh, you know, I look forward to helping him and, you know, this whole staff bring Florida State back to where it should be. And, uh, it should be fun, and it's going to be a challenge, but I'm looking forward to it. I want to ask you about special teams. Interesting, Coach Norvell's introductory press conference, he said the number one emphasis we have is on special teams, which obviously very surprising to hear that. And obviously Memphis has been tremendous on special teams since he's been there. Just talk about the importance of that position. What do you, what do you plan to do there this season? Well, a lot of times the way you play special teams is, a, is really kind of a, a great reflection of what your team is, you know, because the one thing about special teams, other than that, the specialists, none of the players are recruited to the school specifically to do that. So it's kind of their way of giving back to the team. If, you know, you need a bunch of selfless players that, that uh, are, are focused on that aspect of the game. And, you know, it's really, when they talk about being one-third of the game, it's really true. I mean, you know, you have an opportunity to, to, to create and change field position, put points on the board, gain or change momentum of the game. So, you know, when you really look back at a lot of games, especially close ones, a lot of times you can look at a special teams play and know that that was a play that really impacted the game. And, and our goal here is, we're, our, our mindset is we want to be able to make game-changing plays on special teams. I think we'll have the ability to do that. Now, defensive end, I don't know how much an opportunity you had to evaluate the personnel. Yep, you got obviously Generous Robinson coming back, Josh Kando coming back off of injury. What is going to be your point of emphasis working with those guys this once you get to spring practice? Well, you know, I have, you know, we haven't had the opportunity obviously to start working yet in, in terms of just you know all the field stuff with those guys. But you know, I know that they're super talented kids. I've had a chance to sit down and meet with them with, along with Coach Higgins. Um, they're really good, good guys. And, you know, I, that's what I'm excited about is that not just that they're talented players, but they're really good people and um, look forward to having an opportunity to work with them. What kind of led you and Coach Norbell to come together pre-dev on the staff? How did that come about? Uh, you know, so, um, you know, obviously I've always, you know, I've known, I was fortunate with Coach Norbell for a long time. Uh, we hadn't really ever spent any time together. We really hadn't met uh, in person, uh, but we do have some mutual connections. And, uh, we talked once he got the job here. And, uh, you know, initially what, I wasn't really looking to go anywhere. Um, but when you get presented with an opportunity like Florida State, um, my wife and I, it didn't take us very long to, to, to jump at the opportunity and realize that it was going to be best for our family, for, for my career, and, and uh, it would be an opportunity that would be really hard to turn down. So it didn't take us very long to decide where to come from. What is it about this opportunity that is so appealing to you? Well, I mean, I think there's different different aspects of it. Number one is it's Florida State. Um, you know, growing up, you know, in the era in which you know, I grew up in, we grew up in, um, you know, Florida State is excellence in college football. Um, so, you know, you always had tremendous respect for the program. Two is, is Coach Norvell. You know, he's a guy that, that I watch from afar, um, but appreciate what he's doing and what he's building. And I, when you look at it, you just see, like, nothing but potential to really take this back to where um, people want it to be and people expect it to be. And, uh, you know, I just thought the timing was, was right for us to come here and be part of this. You had a chance to, I'm sure you have a little bit with Coach Fuller so far, and what has that been like, and what, what do you guys share maybe philosophically, defensively, like you like to do? You know, we haven't gotten a ton into to what we're doing, you know, schematically. Uh, I know philosophically, uh, you know, Coach Fuller is an attacking, aggressive coach. He's a great teacher. Um, you know, when we spoke on the phone before I came down here, I was really impressed by just his whole, you know, big picture philosophy on how you play defense. And, uh, you know, I, I'm looking forward to working uh, with him and, uh, building this thing to, to be the best that it could possibly be. The last thing I was ask you a little bit, I'm sure you got to watch the bowl game. Uh, obviously, it was one of the better defensive performances we've seen in a while. A little encouraging to see uh, 
the guys play that well, and you you got to do a little bit of evaluation of personnel, I guess, at that. Yeah, you know, I thought I thought they played. You know what? The one thing that I thought they did was they played super hard. Mm-hmm. You know, the guys, you know, right now, they played hard. You could tell it was really important to them. They were, you know, they were straining to the very end, trying to find a way to win it. It was kind of weird at sitting at home on the couch watching <laughs> the game, knowing that you know in a couple of days yeah. that we were going to be there. But um, you know, I was impressed. I really was. I thought they played really well on defense. Um, you know, had a lot of opportunities to probably have a chance to win the game. Um, but you know, it did show you that that you know what the potential could be, and, and hopefully what we can build this thing into. Sounds good. Appreciate it, coach.